On today's episode of Life and Fork, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a quick protein shake with, that's beneficial with just not high protein, but also has carbs. So stay tuned, I'm gonna be showing you that right away. Before we start the video, I wanna say a special thanks to Rum Barber for the awesome shirt. They're over there in Scotland, so check them out on their YouTube page at Rum Barber. Also, you might be wondering why we're doing a protein shake. It's so easy, just take protein powder, throw it in a little shaker cup, shake it, shake it up, and drink it. But that's not the problem. The problem is that you're getting a high amount of protein, but your carbs are low. So the ratio that I believe that's worked for me and it's worked for a lot of people is that you're supposed to have two to one ratio of carbs to protein so that's an issue if you're just doing protein powder straight so you have to put stuff in it so that's why i came up with this awesome protein shake i'm using 100 percent gold whey standard protein from optimum nutrition so check it out hopefully you love it today's recipe the ingredients you're going to need is one cup of water one cup of ice one tablespoon of chai seeds one tablespoon of all natural peanut butter one tablespoon of mct oil 50 grams of oats, two scoops of 100% whey gold standard protein by Optimum Nutrition. Now that you have all your ingredients, you're going to take your Vitamix, set it aside, turn it on, set it to the smoothie setting. If it doesn't have a smoothie setting, just set it to whatever you usually use. Mine's already going to be set. Take the lid off. As always, easy stuff, right? You're going to add your one cup of ice right in the bottom. I add that just to chill it down make it nice and smooth it gives a good consistency one cup of uh water uh mine is uh tap water you can use bottled water whatever you want to do and then i'm going to take two scoops of protein i'm using two scoops to give me about 60 grams of protein in this shake i use optimum nutrition 100 percent gold whey standard it's the, one of the better brands out there right now. They don't really lie about what's in their protein powder, so I stick to them. You know, it's a good quality product. Now the chai seeds that I'm using here are organic. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of this just to give me a little bit of good fats. Good fats are good for your immune system, heart, everything. So always get into good fats into your diet when you can. Now the next step is I'm gonna take some Skippy Natural Peanut Butter. See, this is where people are going to be like, what the hell? Peanut butter, really? Well, seriously, uh, there's not that much difference between that and the almond butter. I like the taste. Now, for a little bit of extra fat, I do a little bit of MCT oil, one tablespoon. This one's organic. I believe I got this one at Sam's Club for a good price, so you can use whatever you have. Again, just something to give it a little bit more uh, nutrition to it. Now for the old-fashioned oats. I'm using about 40 to 50 grams to get my carbs up to about 22 grams of carbs. This is going to give it a nice little oat taste to it. So this is going to be like a chocolate peanut butter smoothie. Uh, a quick tip is you can add a banana even for a little bit more carbs, but I'm trying to get a good macro range in this smoothie. Now I'm going to start blending it. As you can see how nice and pure and smooth it becomes, that's because of the ice and the quantity of water. So the mixture is set pretty good where you know, it gives you a good consistency. Make sure you blend it for the desired amount of time. I believe this bell under sets it to about a minute and 20 seconds or something like that. So then that's what we're going to do. Just blend it for a little bit. Next, we're going to pour it into our Starbucks glass. It doesn't have to be Starbucks. We're not sponsored by Starbucks. Never going to be sponsored by Starbucks. But that's what I had. That was clear. That way you can see through it. You know, you can see what the smoothie looks like. So there you have it. It makes about a little bit, about 16 ounces, 20 ounces, whatever's left in there. But... It gives you a good macro range. I'm going to put the macros down below in the comment section. Please feel free to comment. Give me any tips how you would improve this smoothie. Try it. Let me know if you tried it. Tell me how you like it. So there you go. I hope you love the video. It's pretty simple, right? Not that hard. Not that many steps to do. So as always, stay tuned to next week for a future episode. Uh, we're learning how to create more stuff as we go. So please leave any comments, any suggestions down below. As always, hit subscribe, share the video as many times as possible. Help us make this channel grow. Uh, all I'm trying to do is try to provide content that teaches you something. Hopefully you have fun along the way. So love you guys. See you next week. Bye.